audiences can't get enough of All Eyes on Me. It was inspiring. Epic. Amazing. This is the two-part movie I've been waiting for. As soon as my favorite song came on, I was right back at it like, yeah. All Eyes on Me. Go see it. Rated R. Now playing in the Wild Wild West. A state that's untouchable like Elliot Ness. The track hits your eardrum like a slug to your chest. Like a vest for your Jimmy in the city of sex. We in that sunshine state where the bomb ass him be. The state where you never find a dance flow empty and pimp speed. On a mission for them greens. Lean, mean, money making machines serving fiends. Hey you guys, it's your girl Malia. What's poppin', what's going on? First and foremost, I wanna welcome all my new viewers. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Okay. Now, if y'all could do me one big favor, just one big favor, can you press that like the little red button down there? You see where it says subscribe, press that button right there. Please and thank you. All right, so moving on to the topic. Woo woo. All right, so. Um, recently, you know, the Tupac movie just came out and everything, and y'all saw the snippet that I just posted and everything, and so, I just seen, like, the new Tupac movie, like, yeah, like, two days ago, and let me tell y'all how I feel about it. So, first and foremost, I just want to say that all the actors and the actresses that were in the movie... They did a phenomenal job. Like, they did an amazing job. I love the actors and the actresses, how they were, you know, uh, doing, like, their role and stuff like that in the movie. So, but I just felt like, overall, like, the Tupac movie, because I've seen good and bad reviews about it, and I was already hesitant seeing it because, you know, well, I don't know if you know, but, um, or anybody else knows, um, Jada Pinkett Smith, she went on Twitter and she was saying, like, the scenes that her, um, that included her and Tupac wasn't real. Like, you know, some of, like, the stuff didn't happen. So that kind of made me be like, dang, like, I'm going there knowing half the shit in there, not even real. <laughs> like, so anyway, so I go in there and I'm watching the movie, you know. And I can honestly say, like, one of, like, my favorite parts, but then, like, the movie was, like, the scenes where, like, his mother, like, uh, the scenes with Tupac and his mother have, he, um, got her into rehab, you know, and, you know, and got her clean and everything like that. Like, scenes like that within the movie, I really loved. And her role, the, the lady who played Tupac's mom, she did a phenomenal job. Like, I loved her. And so, and she really looked like her. Like, she, like, there was, like, a really, like, similarity, for real. So, um, but overall, if I had to give a, a rating for, like, the Tupac movie, I don't know. I would just, I don't know. Like, I can't even give it a rating because, I, like, I just felt like, because I was discussing this with, like, my friend. Like, the movie, it was okay, but I just felt like the, like, like I felt like it was missing something. Like, I felt like the whole concept and the plot, everything was good. I just felt like... It was just something was missing. Like, I feel like they probably could have added maybe a little bit more, like, to the movie. Like, maybe more scenes or something. Like, um, uh, what am I say? I just feel like, for example, like, the dude that was, um, casted as Snoop Dogg, who was playing him, he didn't look nothing like him, in my opinion. I mean, he sounded like him. I don't know if he was lip talking. I don't know what he was doing, but like he sounded smack like Snoop Dogg, but he just didn't look like him. So I'm just like, this Snoop, like what? I mean, overall, the movie, like the movie was okay. I just felt like it was missing something, like just that, you know, like normally when like you go to the movies, like you leave the movies feeling like, dang, like that, like that movie was so good. Like I want to see it over and over again, and I didn't feel like that, you know, and. I mean, it wasn't a, I mean, I just felt like it just could have been better in my opinion. Like, it just could have been better, like, like, it could have been better, like, something's missing, like, I mean, the movie, like, scenes in there was really good, but I just felt like it was missing something, like, just more of something, like, it's just missing. Like, and, like how I said, the actors and the actors did a phenomenal job, I loved them in the movie, I just felt like maybe, like, it was like, like the movie just missed something. It just, it just was missing something to give that, mm, that, mm. but the ending of the movie was like really sad. I, I was like, when he was, you know, going up to heaven and stuff like that scene. And so, um, also at the end of the movie, how they said his murder is still unsolved. Mm. 
and um how they did like a little snippet of a video of you know of Tupac the after Tupac you know and I like I, I like that and I felt like Tupac was always a realist you know he always kept it real you know what I mean but I just felt like the movie I mean it's not a horrible movie but I just felt like it was missing something like something to make it give that ugh. like you know what I mean I mean, I really, like, if someone told me, was I, was I impressed from the Tupac movie? Uh, I really wasn't. I, I'm gonna be completely honest. I really wasn't impressed. Like, I mean, I, like I said, in certain scenes, I did love, I did love certain scenes, and I did love the actors, you know, in there, but I just felt like it was some things within the movie I just did not like, and I left the movies feeling like, dang, like, this movie's not really not good like that, you know? Like, but I mean, that's like my review about it, you know? And I think there's a documentary, whatever. Um, I think there's another Tupac movie that might be coming out. I don't know. Like, I heard that somewhere, but I just like, and my thing about this is too, and I'm like kind of seeing this in a lot of like, um, movies that, pe you know, people do about celebrities' lives. Oh, and another thing. One thing that I can say I didn't like about, like, the little Tupac movie was the dude who played Biggie in the Notorious movie was in the Tupac movie. Was in the Tupac movie. And that was really smart for them to do that. And it made sense because he played Biggie. So, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, it made sense for real. But, yeah, like, um... I like that. It just made sense. It just, you know, it, but yeah, um, but one question I do have is like, I wonder like, what like the Tupac, like the, like his murder ever be solved? Like, do you feel like someone knows something? I kind of feel like someone knows who shot him. Like, and it makes me wonder, and I didn't even notice. I didn't know that Suge Knight was in the car, uh, with Tupac, you know, like he was there when he got shot. And I was just like, I thought he really was in the car. I'm like, what? Like, I, I didn't know that. So, I kind of feel like Shug probably saw or knew something about it. I feel like somebody knows something. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody knows something, but no one not doing no talking. So, therefore, it's going to be an unsolved murder. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, overall, the, the movie, it wasn't horrible. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that was okay it was okay you know it had its good parts you know what i'm saying you know pros and cons but i feel like it could have been better you know what i'm saying because i feel like especially when you're doing a movie about someone like someone's life you want it to like you want every no like you want your aim like your goal for every person who sees that movie to be like dang oh, like that was a good ass movie like you want them to see it 12 times you know what i mean like you, like, you feel me but um, yeah, I mean, it was an okay movie, good parts, pretty much it, yeah, pretty much it, but there you go, and you know, it's your girl Malia Love here, and how about you subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that will be after you like this video, and thank you for watching, bye! Characterize yourself as somebody who was very angry before you went to prison? Nah, I thought I was charming. I just, now, why were you always getting in all these altercations? I mean, something was going on. I have spirit. Spirit. I have so much spirit, man, where no one else would do things, I would do it. Well, a lot of people have spirit, but they don't. Because they're smart and they're mature, and I was immature before. I see. So my spirit was very, was handled in an immature manner. I just let it run. Now I'm, I'm a little bit more mature, and I'm going to get even more mature with time. So now I'm more mature, I can go. I know I want to do that. This is what I would do, but how, I ain't going to do it. How would you characterize yourself as, how would you characterize yourself in the past? What does immature mean to I you? I was immature. Immature, I, I did things without thinking. My actions came before thought. And sometimes maybe words, too. And all my words came before thought. <laughs> things that I did, things I said. There's so many things I want to take back.